Mona and Yuan are two of Cape Nature's many dedicated conservationists. One day they meet at a reserve gate. They both look flustered and frustrated. Mona, a conservation manager, complains about the phone she's been issued. They never have enough airtime. This makes it very difficult to get support when she approaches suspected poachers or needs to communicate fire threats. Johan, a senior scientist who's been with the organization for 20 years, has other problems. He needs to get to an important research meeting on Cape Mountain zebra genetics. But his petrol allowance only goes so far. He's falling further and further behind on the latest developments. Is this familiar to you? Never having enough resources to do your work. Having to do more with less each year. The reason for this is funding. Currently, we only have a few income streams. A decreasing annual treasury budget, traditional tourism income and some project funding for specific activities. But with competing interests and increasing field challenges, the pot for conservation is shrinking. Globally, conservation agencies are trying to find new ways to generate income for protected area management. Here at home, Cape Nature, in partnership with the provincial government, is conceptualizing, developing and implementing a three-phase plan to unlock funding and generate income with a view to finding a long-term sustainable funding solution. How will it work? The first phase will engage with employees and stakeholders about the need for the sustainable financing of protected areas and identify their roles and contributions to income generation. Phase two will develop evaluation criteria with the help of Cape Nature employees and stakeholders to select and assess the most viable opportunities for full business planning with the help of business planning experts. In phase three, we'll use the business plans designed in phase two to implement one or two of the income generation initiatives. And then, more money for conservation and better protection for the biodiversity of the Western Cape. More opportunities for local economic development built on the value of our natural assets. Mutually beneficial partnerships with local communities and stakeholders. Greater capacity building opportunities for Cape Nature employees to manage generated income. Fast forward a few years and Mona and Yuan have seen a world of change. Mona is now working on a new program to use technology to catch poachers. She has been sent on several entrepreneur courses and is seeing some of her business ideas adopted by Cape Nature. Johan is presenting his paper on the movements of the Cape Mountain Zebra to an international conference and has managed to raise funding for a groundbreaking range expansion project. He is also conducting more research with international partners, soon to be published in a book.